Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder at CommitmentConnection.com. And in today's video, we're going to talk about how to get a guy to chase you. So if you want a guy to chase you, I've got three tips that will help you get him to chase you. And if this is your first time to this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button on the bottom right hand side of this video to get more videos on how to have the relationship you've always wanted. So one of the most common questions that I get from women is how do I get a guy to chase me? And so first I want to tell you what not to do. What you shouldn't do is uh, reject a guy or show him disinterest or ignore him completely. And um, I, I got a question from a woman not too long ago who said, hey, um, you know, I had this guy and he was kind of pursuing me and chasing me and um, I rejected him. Um, why did he stop pursuing me? And uh, you know, it, it's, uh, especially right now, we live in a time when um, guys, if he, sh if he sees that you're not interested or he thinks that you're not interested, so if you reject him, for instance, um, there's a very low chance that he's going to continue pursuing you. Guys need uh, something that says she's still interested if he's going to pursue you because he doesn't want to end up in the let's just be friends category uh, because that's like the number one fear for guys is that they end up falling for some girl and she just wants to be friends with him and it happens all the time so don't do that instead here's tip number one the first thing that you should do is give him ways to invest in you and so uh, one of the things I talk about a lot in my programs and in my videos is this thing about investment, right? So the more invested a guy feels like he is in you, like he's really invested in you, not just from a monetary standpoint, but from uh, uh, an emotional standpoint, from a physical standpoint, um, from a time standpoint, um, the more invested he feels in you, the more he will want to commit to you. And so... Uh, what you need to do if you want a guy to invest in you is give him things to invest in you. And one, one of the easiest ways to do this is to ask him for help, you know, and, and ask him for help even for things that maybe you could do yourself. So, um, you know, if you, if you want a guy uh, to invest in you and you want him to chase you, um, give him things to help you with. You know, maybe even things that you could do, but say, you know, send him a text and be like, hey, I really need help with this. Can you help me with that? And uh, <clears throat> you'll be surprised at how often a guy, like when a guy f gets asked for help, it's like you can see his chest like, you know, sticking out and, you know, st him standing up and being like, yes, I will come and help you. You know, it's, it's, it kind of uh, triggers this thing in his um, in his mind where he feels like he needs to come and save the day. And I know there's a lot of women out there that are like, well, I don't need no man to come and save the day for me. And, and I totally get that. Um, and you should let go of that <laughs> if you want a guy to chase you and instead give him things that he can chase you with. Tip number two is show appreciation for the effort that he puts forth towards anything. Right, so um, guys love being shown appreciation. It, it makes them it makes them feel amazing. So if he does something that you like, show him appreciation and show him appreciation any time that he puts an effort. Because um, the more appreciation you show him uh, for little things that show that he's putting an effort, the more likely he is to do those types of things in the future. And so if you want him to chase you, uh, anytime he does something that indicates that he's chasing you, show him some appreciation. Tell him how attractive it is. And tip number three, this is more of kind of a passive thing, but, you know, have things going on in your own life. And, you know, I talk a lot about this, but this is kind of the lifestyle aspect of things. And, and this will help you even when you're in a relationship. Um, is to have your own things going on that have nothing to do with him. And, you know, have a life. Have stuff that you're doing. Um, and, uh, you know, don't make ever your entire life about him. One of the biggest mistakes that I see a lot of women making is that they, they make their entire lives about this one guy. And it turns into um, a, a huge challenge for them because it's like, 
you know, they end up smothering the guy. And, you know, the guy's like, instead of wanting to chase, the guy wants to end up pulling back and withdrawing, which is obviously the exact opposite of what you want. And so you want to have things going on. You know, they say that, um, uh, you know, uh, absence makes the heart grow fonder. And, and I think there's really something to that. Um, and, and it's not, you know, trying to, uh, th- you know, don't fake this. Don't turn it into something where you're like, oh, I got to pretend like I've got things going on. Uh, you know, don't do that. Do it from an honest space. Um, you know, actually have things going on. Actually have a life. Actually, you know, uh, have have interesting and cool things and whatever going on in your life. Um, and uh, uh, it'll make a guy feel like he needs to uh, to get you, to win you over, to uh, to chase you. Thanks for watching this video. If you're ready to know exactly what to say and do to attract the man and the relationship you've always wanted, click on the button on the right-hand side of this video and go to our website.